Uh, they just, I, don't, I wouldn't say they defended me. I, I would say they spoke for me. Um, they said that we never heard this kid speak and then proceeded to speak for me on what they think. And all I would just ask is that, hey, I've seen a lot of guys on y'all's show. Invite me on the show. I won't curse on first take. I was cursing at them niggas. <laughs> so if uh, if you want to know, because you guys didn't know, I was supposed to get traded uh, for Elton Brand, and then Tyson Chandler was supposed to go to, I think, the Clippers. So you guys didn't know that. So I just said something that you didn't know. Why speak on it as if now you can believe it and now you can soften your stance? Maybe there's other things you don't know. So why not invite me for the conversation? That's what I don't understand. It seems to still be everybody still with the go along, get along game because everybody know in this game that we in, it's all politics. And there's a, certain people you don't want to upset, certain interviews you don't want to miss out on. So most people don't push the line. They become friends with these people and that's all they do. Uh, Stephen A, you built a career off of me. A 17, 18 year old kid, you think you walk around like you some big tough man. You were going to college campuses speaking about a teenage kid. And your only talent is knowing a bunch of big words and talking disrespectful to children, to teenagers. I was so happy when Kevin Durant mama, got, shout out to Kevin Durant mama, when she wanted to, it looked like she wanted to whoop your ass like my mama would have whooped your motherfucking ass. I had to tell my mama, mom, you ain't going up there because my mama wasn't going to be as nice as her. But Kevin Durant mama looked like she wanted to slap your ass with her purse. You talking about these people, mama's son, boy. Fuck wrong with y'all. Y'all get on here, niggas work their whole life for some niggas with a bad tape line and a bad attitude and a bunch of talking can sit there and, and label people something. You punk motherfucker. You Didn't you used to play basketball, Stephen A? My motherfucking career was better than yours. <laughs> you good at talking. The only thing you can beat me at is a spelling bee. Uh, learning big words. And you might can't beat me at that, punk. <laughs> I'm to go at all you motherfuckers now. You motherfuckers want to sit and talk. It's time out for that shit now. I don't put a spotlight on you bitches. The only thing you motherfuckers do every day is talk shit about black men. We going to stop that shit. We're going to stop that. You fucking with these people's livelihood. You fucking with people's children and their ability to move around this world. Well, not mine. I don't give a fuck. I'm blind. I walk around with blinders on. I don't give a fuck. But at the end of the day, I'm a man with children. And you niggas play too much. 20 years later, I hate, you, you know, folks talking about, oh, y'all thought I was a punk because I didn't say something. Are you dumb? Who the fuck wanted to hear me say something about Michael Jordan? So if I'm a 17, 18 year old kid say Michael Jordan did X, Y, and Z before I finished the sentence, you motherfuckers would have said I was making excuses. So cut the bullshit. <laughs> like, come on with it. Cut the bullshit. You know, I'm not going to, I've never been that type of dude to be that stupid. When Oak tried to fight me, I understood. I don't give a damn who's going to win or who's going to lose. Nigga, we not finna fight. I'm on a one-year contract in Charlotte, and my baby's got to eat. Got me fucked up. Let you emotional male-ass niggas jump out the window because of something somebody say and something somebody do. I wouldn't give a fuck what you say or what you think you're going to do, but I know what you ain't going to do, and that's fucker with me. The fuck you talking about? You niggas just been doing a lot of talking, and that's okay with me. But I, t I told you niggas in a couple other texts that as long as nobody don't do this, I don't give a fuck about no talking. And so, but now it's getting to the point where you guys are uh, destroying people's brand. You don't know what I got going on in life. And this effeminate nigga talking like, oh, we not going to put you on. You not going to come up off of us. Show me the text where I asked you to put me on. See, when you say ignorant shit like that, show me any text where I asked you or anyone to put me on. And then you would have a point. But nigga, you ignorant. You are ignorant to my situation talking about it as if you know what the fuck you talking about. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you're talking about, boy. It's all good, though. You niggas in the brotherhood club and you niggas like to smile and kick her with other niggas. See, I like to be by myself. <laughs> I got too much mama cooking. I don't want to be around no niggas. Might spill it on you niggas. I don't know. 
I don't want to be around you niggas like that. <laughs> you niggas try to steal my secrets to mama's cooking, nigga. And this my recipe, motherfucker. You niggas like to do all that talking, and you niggas actually believe people that just sitting out there kicking and running their goddamn mouth. But niggas got tight when I started telling the truth. <laughs> I be around MJ. I mean, I be around Charles Oakley every day. You don't got no fat. Motherfucker, only stupid people listen to what you say. I never said you, you don't be around Oakley right now. It's 2021. But 2009 and 2010? That nigga was trying to whip all our ass, so why you frightened? <laughs> I don't know why you frightened, nigga. What's that big tall ass white boy that got traded there? Oak was finna whoop this nigga ass first day. And I know I hope Oak don't get offended by me saying he was gonna whoop somebody's ass, because everybody know Oak a ass whoop. So I don't I doubt he gonna get offended by it. But you know. Shit, he probably somewhere back laughing right motherfucking now. <laughs> Listening that you lie. <laughs> Trying to save face. Rapper. Oh, activist. Oh, ball player. Oh, you don't know either. Stupid motherfucker. You niggas crazy. Y'all say anything out y'all goddamn mouth. Go drive your truck. <laughs> what the fuck I'm supposed to drive? I'm seven foot, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> you want me in a Prius? <laughs> you niggas talk stupid. I told you, y'all niggas just exposing yourself. You got no talent. The only talent you got is disrespecting black men. Stephen A made a career out of it. You're now making a career out of it, lying and acting like you got black people back. But out of your mouth, the only thing you do is tear down. Okay, you can pretend like all you was doing was, oh, I was just, you made because you the number one draft pick it How is the guy who's not saying anything mad? How would you know I'm mad? Nigga, I, I, if I'm mad, it's because niggas like you don't understand the position that you in and you're not smart enough to finesse it into something bigger than what you are. Stupid motherfucker. That's why they don't give people like me platforms. I got to go take it, which I will. That's why you tuning in, nigga. See, I don't need to be given a goddamn thing. My whole life, I wasn't given a motherfucking thing. Didn't you hear my story, nigga? I had no shoes on in life. You ain't giving shit. So I'm okay with it, nigga. I get it out the mud. I'm okay with it. You niggas want to group up and I don't got no group of friends. Because all you niggas doing is sleeping and swapping diseases with each other. I know you niggas very well. Fuck you niggas talking about Matt Barnes. All you niggas, all you niggas do. It, now y'all trying to act like, it, oh, he's just a mad, angry basketball player. You can act like that, but anybody with a half a brain that hear me and hear you, they can see holes in your story, buddy. You don't challenge nothing that I say. You want to sit here talking about, I don't remember. Well, go watch the film of you tapping and stopping Jenny Buss and saying he don't need to be mentioned. And then let's see if you remember Becky with the good hair. Fuck you talking about. I'm not, there's no whole bar now. I ain't playing with you niggas no more. Y'all always want to play games and then throw rocks and then hide your hand. <gasps> I ain't know. <laughs> I bet you've been having a lot of conversations about me too. You don't really know how to come at me, do you? Because what you thought, the conversation you hearing now, you realizing what you thought was full of shit, ain't it? <laughs> Stop thinking, boy. No. And that's the problem. You niggas don't know nothing. You niggas got a big ass platform and all you niggas do is get up there and disrespect black men. Shannon Sharp, I appreciate uh, what seemed to be uh, uh, having my back. But Shannon Sharp, I have to say this. You talked about Kevin Durant in a way that I don't think you would have talked about a white boy like that or a white man. I don't think you would have said it like that. So I think we all have to now, now that I got a platform, I'm going to use it for the right way. It's time to put respect on niggas' name. And you niggas that I'm disrespecting, that's because you the one that's a gatekeeper of disrespect. Stephen A., you bald forehead motherfucker. I don't know why you got people thinking you tough, saying all kind of shit like, oh, then you come see me. Well, sign up. Let's go to Seattle and you sign up. Well, Seattle, you ain't got to sign no waiver. Meet me in Seattle where you can have mutual combat and talk like that. I'll slap a two. It'll look like you got a toupee on the front of your head or how hard I'll slap the back of your head, motherfucker. The hell you talking about? Y'all got people fooled with this fuck shit.
And Skip Bayless, thanks for the pass. I don't even know what the fuck that meant. But thanks for the pass, I guess. I don't know what grown man need no goddamn pass, but thank you. I ain't get no pass from your co-host when you was letting this punk motherfucker talk about a teenager and going around college campuses. You never get. You gave him a pass. Bonafide scrub. He can't do nothing. This, this, and that. I had to endure you talking about my mama's son like that, bitch. The fuck is you talking about? The only thing you known for being a black man that disrespect and talk about other black men. I should find who your old lady is, you punk old bitch. Show her my mama's cooking. I sprinkle a little good seasoning on her. Ass. I don't talk too much, nigga. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna start. You keep running your mother. Y'all nigga keep running y'all motherfucking mouth, boy. Keep running y'all mind. All you old ass niggas that's jealous of young. See, that's what it is. You niggas jealous and y'all fanboy. You a fan of certain niggas so you talk crazy about other niggas you don't like. Nigga, you don't gotta like me. Fuck you, boy. A bald head ass stupid nigga that just learned the, 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 the dictionary of the thesaurus and couldn't make it at basketball. Now somehow he's the most in, influential word at basketball. I bet them white people took you in the goddamn studio, told you what to do, rubbed your balls, and told you to go do a good job, little boy. And now what you've been doing year after fucking year is disrespecting black men. And now I'm gonna be the nigga that disrespect your bitch ass. The fuck you talking about? Bald head ass, ugly old motherfucker that's just sitting there talking shit. Now you 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 done set the tone for the disrespect of black men. You were the first. You are the creator. You are the creator of disrespecting black males the way that they are being disrespected now on TV. When you openly start talking like that, see they always use one of you bitch ass niggas that'll do anything for money. You enrich yourself by talking about teenagers. You punk motherfucker. Do you feel big and and nice that you disrespected teenagers, boy? Huh? Are you feeling happy about yourself? Your mama's happy about raising a son that all he do is disrespect black males? That what your mama happy about? It's a goddamn shame. I guess some of you motherfuckers that do anything for money. Anything. You ain't none of you. You ain't got no righteous bone in your motherfucking body. Y'all can talk about the way I'm talking and the way I curse and the use of the N word, but the one thing about it, I didn't take nail piece of food out of one motherfucker pocket. Matter of fact, I'm like a goddamn stimulus check. You bitch ass niggas been talking about me since I was a teenage boy. I've had a better life than most of you motherfuckers. Not you people on the internet. I like you. The motherfuckers that's been talking about me, Stephen A., as an 18-year-old, 17-year-old kid, you stupid son of a bitch, you talking about a man that was signed to the University of Florida, a full-ride scholarship on honor roll as a teenager, as a sophomore. Huh? You punk bitch. You've made money flying around the world talking about a teenager, and you think you better than somebody? I tell you what, I guarantee you, the moment you stop disrespecting black men, you're going to be fired, bitch. And I'm going to make sure you stop doing it. I ain't going to let them keep changing the narrative and painting the picture. And matter of fact, guess what? I'm going to stay, I'm gonna stay uh, secluded. I'm going to stay by myself. I'm going to watch this shit play out. You ain't going to be able to send your little fake ass henchmen at me. I'm going to watch this shit play out. Because I know I'm talking big money talk right now. Because right now, what I'm talking about... If we force you some bitches to stop talking bad about black men, guess what you gonna have? Nothing to fucking talk about. I'm tired of seeing black men after black men go up there, successful motherfuckers go up there and y'all talk about them like a goddamn dog. All of you motherfuckers. That's all you do. Somebody try to tell you you're wrong about something, you motherfuckers get double down on the disrespect. It's a goddamn shame. Y'all bitch motherfuckers thought I was a little ass boy. How the fuck can I be a little boy? I ain't never did little boy things. How did I get to the position I was in being a little boy, fucking idiot? You motherfuckers just don't think. For Elton Brand, didn't say a motherfucking thing. And you genius ass media outlets that don't never give up any fucking data, stacks, or nothing. That None of you motherfuckers have any facts. You better start putting real people on your podcast. Because I'm exposing you bitches. Y'all don't talk about nothing real. All y'all, y'all, it's like the mainstream media is turning into a gossip column. Y'all might as well be just a gossip blog. 
There's no analytics. There's no nothing about sports. It's all this goddamn talk. And y'all say it. Y'all gonna have to do better now. Cause pe motherfucker, people gonna be watching now, nigga. The fuck wrong with you? Every day y'all motherfucker wake up and disrespect black men and then people supposed to sit there because it ain't no protection for a black man. We getting That's shot, right. kicked in our ass, get, get whatever. Motherfucker can tell us anything. And it ain't no support for a black man. Everybody snickering and laughing and shit. Every day we go outside, LeBron claimed every day we go outside, we being hunted. Yeah, we being hunted by you motherfuckers. Every day I walk outside, it's one of you niggas running your motherfucking mouth. Goddamn shame. Nigga can't have peace. A nigga goddamn, this ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn violence. It wasn't violence when Stephen A. Smith was talking about a teenage boy. Y'all motherfuckers said Takashi 6 9 was a kid. So he shouldn't have went to prison for some of the shit that he was doing. But you hear it is a kid that do the right thing and buy his mama a motherfucking house. But because he black and because he dark skinned, you bitch motherfuckers will let everybody talk about a teenage boy that's black. You motherfuckers are ashamed. No bullying. But I was a teenager and that sounded like bullying to me. All you motherfuckers is jealous about his money. That's what it's about. When a black man got some money, you motherfuckers will do all the bidding of some white folks to take their money away, defame them, take their pride, take anything. I wouldn't give a damn if I'm the worst player in the world, baby. I got acres. <laughs> you judge a man by how much land he got, baby. You looking at a man, baby. <laughs> you running your motherfucking mouth. I don't just run my mouth. That's why I stay quiet. Let you stupid motherfuckers fall in love with social media and all this fuck shit. But now, you talking about mama's son. You ain't finna do that no more. You niggas gonna come up all black men. I ain't doing this just for me. You gonna come to fuck up all black men. I catch you talking about Kyrie in that manner. I catch you talking about Durant. I'm gonna speak up. Cause it's, it's time out for the way that you're talking about black male. It ain't just about basketball with you motherfuckers. Cause you don't talk no analytics and you don't talk no numbers. So don't sit up here and pretend like it's about basketball. You motherfuckers got attacks on black males on every stand, uh, every instant in life. We are attacking black males. It's a motherfucking shame. So don't speak for me, first take. Don't speak for me, ESPN. Don't ask them little cronies. Since when we have a world to where we speak for people? I said what the fuck I said. Zoom, we can go do a Zoom. Bring me on and ask these goddamn questions instead of sitting up here letting these niggas hide up under all type of groups and bullshit. Come from behind that group and let's expose the man. Let's see the man. Don't make no goddamn sense. It don't matter if somebody a Muslim or whatever they are. I'm not talking about nobody religion. This ain't about a religion. I'm talking about the man. Y'all motherfuckers always want to hide behind something. You want to hide behind a group. I ain't with no motherfucking group. I stand on principle. Any motherfucker that stand on principle, then that's the group. You motherfucker been talking long enough, faking long enough. Ain't no elders taught you niggas nothing. You motherfuckers stacking up boxes of pretty shoes. That's what you think is important. Dumb motherfucker on my live telling me, you wearing a CDC, DC shirt. You can tell he broke. Okay. How you know that, boy? They ain't teach you about money in school. So you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Show me the course in high school where they teaching you about money. So shut your bitch ass up. And any nigga who made that comment, I know he ain't go to college. So you don't know what the fuck you talking about. And then I got to walk around this world. You want me to talk to people that say shit like that. I don't know. I don't know why they care what's in another man's pocket. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. A motherfucker look at your appearance and tell you about you. Yo, you dirty. You ugly. You broke. How the fuck you know? Okay. And as long as I ain't asking you for nothing, why the fuck you worry about it? A bunch of effeminate motherfuckers. No, that's your Motherfucker sad. And Jack, hey, see, you. I'm playing spade. I'm playing tunk, boy. You know what I'm saying? You said I play uh, domino. That show you how much you know me, boy. I'm playing tunk. I don't play no motherfucking domino. I don't even know how to play domino. They need to know your story. Shit, yeah, that...
That's why these niggas so intimidating. They don't want to ask, they, no, they ask no real questions, and they, they will really never want to expose my story because it turned the bullshit that they preach every day out here in the public. Game. It kill it. Kill How the fuck you keep telling these kids that they can't be somebody and they can't be something when you looking at a nigga right here that was at the manor house, that was at the free lunch program, and he turned into the number one draft pick by the time he was a motherfucking grown man. Before, Before he was a grown man. My mama on a golf course. It's about decisions that you make, motherfucker. I was 14 years old. Some of my brothers made a decision to sell drugs. They went to jail. I made a decision to go to fucking work. And I went to the number one draft pick. It's about decision making. But you motherfuckers don't want to tell kids that. You want to defame motherfuckers like me. You notice they don't want to hear my story. The these motherfuckers know my story. One of eight. Why don't y'all breathe life into these kids instead of telling them a bunch of bullshit? All of them made them same sacrifices, but they don't want to make them. Yeah. Them All the motherfuckers made these sacri uh, sacrifices to become what we became. You couldn't be out on the block with a pistol in your hip if you supposed to be at practice. They act like any nigga can just fall off in the NBA. Yeah, they the way they talk about me. Oh, yeah, any nigga can just walk out. I'm so sorry. Any nigga just walk off the street, whoop my ass, make it to the NBA, my hands so small. Like, like nigga, that's the, that's you, that's you motherfuckers are nuts. That's bullshit. You motherfuckers are cuckoo. Cuckoo. So, it wasn't no point of talking to you, dumb man. That's why I was quiet. It wasn't no point. Niggas that spend time hating on black men every motherfucking day. You think I want to talk to one of you foolish ass children? So you can say, what for you? Uh, pull up on you. Uh, pull up on you. And then now, I got to show you a side of me you ain't know. I ain't with all that. Don't pull up on me, motherfucker. I have my child with me. I don't want you nigga pulling up on me. Fake ass tough nigga. You can't, I can listen to people talk about me my, for 20 fucking years and you niggas can't listen to one motherfucking thing you hear you don't like. You got to pull up and, and, and go to jail or hell about uh, what somebody said. <laughs> Boy, you niggas must ain't got no mama's cooking. Because <laughs> there's too many out here, boy.